Well, it all started last October in a brand new format of the Danske Bank Ulster Rugby Schools Cup. Six groups of four teams, and now we're whittled down to the, the final three. Yesterday, we saw RMA prevail in an epic battle with Belfast Inst. Today, it's the turn of Wallace High School and the cup holders, Methodist College Belfast. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You're very welcome to the, this Facebook live broadcast here on Ulster Rugby. My name is Paul McIntyre. And joining me today is a man who's no stranger to the Kingspan Stadium. 168 Ulster appearances, as well as 10 caps for Ireland. And, of course, a two-time winner of the Skills Cup with one of our today's teams, Methodist College. Craig Gilroy, you're very welcome. Thanks very much. How are you? Thanks for having me. Not a problem. So, just before we get the proceedings underway, we've already warned Greg, you know, he has to be impartial today. This is for <laughs> me, professional. So, I'm not to be swaying towards Methley but it's hard to ignore Methley their, their record their pedigree 36 have we been reminded so many times in the past half hour from their travelling yeah. support from South Belfast yeah that's it uh, the supporters they they even look you know by looking at them that they've they've done uh, this before and been here before and uh, no stranger to Schools Cup semi-finals and finals Davey Wells first and now Nicky Wells and his coaching staff so they're well versed and playing here and that's usually what it comes down to you know who who performs on the day because it can be quite a quite an intimidating atmosphere quite quite a big uh, a big challenge for just you know schoolboys. absolutely and that's difficult but as i say they've won it last year but they've only got two of the starting team from last year and a number of subs where that experience it could prove vital in the closing stages against a very inexperienced wallace but here we are today's teams first up we've got the methodist college and they're captained by one of those guys that played in last year's final, Adam Reid there from Openside. And also up front as well, they've got Jack Watson and Dan Duggan in the front row. They were part of the, the squad last year. And in the front row with them is their top try scorer, Harry McCartney. Out in the back line, there'll be last year's scrum half, Callum Davidson. Look out for him at number 12 for Methody. While they've also, he'll be partnered by an Ulster under 18 schools player, Peter O'Hagan. Looking to the, the Wallace side, Wallace actually come into this game as firm favourites, which is very unusual territory for Methody. Wallace, they're captained today by Ruben Crawlers at number 8, and also under 19 and an Ireland under 18 cap. And also up front, they have got Charlie Irvine in the second row. He's represented Ireland this year, and Joel Dundas at hooker. He's also lined out for Ulster Schools. The list head prop, Cameron Doak. He has a brother also on the team who's playing today at out half. Nathan Doak, who's made quite an impression in Ulster rugby circles this year. He's actually lined out for the Ulster A team in the British and Irish Cup. There he's been playing scrum half, but today he lines out at out half. And their back line is also complemented there by further Ulster skills players and Jimmy McKnight at fullback, Ben Carson at 12, and on the left wing, Finn Rankin. So, Greg... As we talked about, we talked about Methody's pedigree in the past here in the Skills Cup. But Wallace, this this is their time. This is the year. This is the squad they've been building for. This is their time this year. And their favourites today. And as you can see, there's plenty of uh, players that have made representative casts for both Ulster and Ireland. Yeah, it's interesting to see the representation there. Both Ulster and Ireland, the uh, majority being the, the Wallace team. And that'll hold them in good stead, you know, uh, representing your province and uh, internationally as well at that age can give you a lot of experience coming back into school rugby. So here they go, running onto the pitch. Oh, wow, that's terrific. Welcome to the two teams there. Of course, Methody in the famous white shirts and dark navy shorts. They'll be attacking the memorial in this first half with walls and black and white hoops. Yeah. Getting together there in the middle of the park. And we're just waiting on our match officials to take to the field. Johnny Erskine is the man in the middle today. And he's, he'll be helped along with by Darren Carson and Adrian Miller. With Clive Gardner looking after all the, the replacements coming and going down in the technical area. And conditions today, they're absolutely fantastic. The sun's out. Yeah. Barely a breath of wind. Considering the rough weather we've had and postponements we've had in the past number of weeks. The Kingspan Stadium... Looks Which great. It does look very well indeed, considering too we, hit, we had a semi-final here yesterday. And more on that epic battle later on. Yeah. So here we go, the teams are lining out. And it looks, 
Possibly Mephody are going to be kicking off. Nobody seems in a rush. Yeah, here we go. There's the Mephody out half. Look, Graham. Passing the ball. <laughs> There's someone else there. <laughs> Wish the weather was like this on uh, Friday night for us. Uh, you don't get some conditions. Uh, maybe this year with the, the season going a bit longer, you might get. Yeah. I'm a fair weather winger. Uh, a hard, hard ground as the, as the wingers, wingers well. So we're about to get kick off here now at this Danske Bank Ulster Rugby School semi-final who's, go. who's going to be joining Royal School Armagh on the 17th of March Callum Davidson gets us underway and a great take there from the, the Wallace forward and an excellent tackle too, Methley up very very quick so an early chance here for a, a box kick from Lewis sorry, Lewis Nelms there and a high kick is hanging, and it's just coming down on the left. Mephley Winger just coming off his wing there. Yeah. Andrew McMurray. A little bit long, but good chase from Wallace. Mephley second row of early carry for Adam McNamee. Oh, great ferocious, it yes, ferocious play there at the breakdown, and a great turnover there from Wallace. Just on the halfway line here. Chance for an early attack. He's going to keep it in the forwards. Build through the phases. Now he's getting plenty of action, and oh. here's it almost getting away. There's a Walls player there, we just couldn't quite see his number. And, and if they're short yeah. here, there's a and bit of trouble. And if Walls can spread it out right and move it quick through the hands, they could be in here for an early chance. And that's what they do. Great opportunity here down the right hand wing, and a couple of good hits there coming in, particularly one from Joel Dundas. Oh, sorry, Harry McCartney. Apologies. Early intentions here, early at pressure here from the Walls boys, setting their intentions out. Hoping to win their first ever Ulster Bank Schools, Danska Bank Schools Cup. Building through the faces, some good play here. Harry McCartney taking that up and there's an early penalty coming in the way for Walls. I'd say they'll nudge him behind here. Oh, oh Doki having a go. Yes, Nathan Doki, has been, so much has been written and talked about this year. Back again to Harry McCartney, seeing plenty of the ball and these opening exchanges. Moving the ball right, still a penalty advantage have Wallace. Trying to punch a hole in that Mephody back line. What will Doki here do? Oh, a great pass out to the right hand side there. And it's on your end. Oh, and just bundled into the touch before he got it. Inches. Before he touched the ball down on the line, but the touch judge saying he was in touch. I think that was Callum or Harry Wallace possibly. But we're going to come back for the penalty in front of the post and a chance for some early scores here for Wallace. Yeah. A great start there from Wallace, Greg. Unbelievable start. We're seeing already, that, you know, the maturity of Nathan Doak, uh, how he's taking a hold of the game already. That's two, three passes to play already. That's uh, looked really dangerous for Wallace. Um, Methody were a bit short there and they probably could have just went and put it through the hands, but lovely, lovely miss pass from, from Nathan. Put his uh, winger do uh, down the side there. A fast start there from Wall, so just approaching three minutes played here to Kingspan Stadium. And the ground falls hush and quiet. Nathan Duke kicks right footed, never in doubt, no issues there. So, th just over three minutes of action played here to Kingspan Stadium. It's Wallace three, Methody nil. And so far, Early exchange, just three minutes, but we've seen the power at the breakdown from Wallace turning that ball over, and yep. we all see the, the backs, and it's a day for running rugby, so we might see a few tries like we did yesterday. Yeah, absolutely. Wallace aren't messing around. A great take again there from Charlie Irvine. You can't miss him with the, the boots and the scrum hat, can you? <laughs> Matching. Trying to exit Here, well again yeah, here. Wallace, that's, that's not that's a poor enough box kick there, but the ball does come back on the on the Wallace side, but there's a spill forward there. So we're going to have the first scrum of the day. And a chance here for Methody to launch their first attack of the game. Yeah. Of course, there's always interesting battle up front. We saw yesterday how our mass forwards totally dominated in the final exchanges against Belfast and 
Incredible yesterday, yeah. wasn't it? <laughs> it was just non-stop drama. And just say it, you just supposed to prove it's never over until it's over. Yeah. 22-5 at one stage, was it? 22-5, and they fought back. What a comeback. So here we go, the first scrum. Mefley, Mefley scrum half Luke Sims. He was a, a replacement in last year's final. Picked up at eight there by Michael Crawlers. Storming run there from the big eight. Irvine and again put a tackle on there for the Walls boys. Number 13, Peter O'Hagan, an under-18 schools player. Getting involved as is Jack Watson. As he can Mefley get past the game line here. We skip inside there from Callum Davidson. As Mefley try to rumble forward, get into the, the Walls 22. Harry McCartney, top try score for Mefley this year. Michael Crawler is getting another early touch to the ball. Moving it out left now. Oh, I think that needed oh, to go. Yes, look, Graham, I think he, he thought about throwing the pass. But the Walls back line was up very, very quick. Great line speed there from the Walls guys. Mefley putting a lot more into the, into the breakdown this half. They don't want to get turned over again. And yet again, the Walls back line up very, very sharp. And they've Mefley using the whole pitch this time. Keeping the ball, going through the faces. This time they do have a penalty for a high tackle. The play continues. Number seven and captain Adam Reid demanding the ball there. There he goes, a thumping carry. But a good tackle there from Joel Dundas. Put those red numbers in the back of those black and white shirts are a commentator's nightmare. But here we are. Referee Johnny Erskine brings it back. That's a penalty for Mephody. And possibly a chance to kick into the corner. Yep. Some good defence from Wallace there, mm -hmm. despite the high tackle. Seemed to get good spacing, good numbers. Mm -hmm. Go up and meet Methody, and Methody were carrying pretty hard as well. Yeah, their, their line speed there is terrific. It's just right on, right on the money. So it's a fraction, a fraction too late, and you, you can be penalised, but you got penalised for a high tackle. And the first line out of the day, so Harry McCartney, and it's going to be a full line out. Looking off camera here, we can see the Mefley fullback Connor Spence just taking up position behind the Mefley outside centre Peter O'Hagan. And also their, their left winger Andrew McMurray has come off his wing. Well, Gallard there. But the Mefley forwards to get a bit of a rumble going here. And they rumble, they keep on rumbling. It's eventually brought to halt, but here comes the second shove. And it's looking very promising. Dan Duggan at the back of that there. It's eventually brought down. Number eight, Michael Crowers picking it up. Scrum half Sim spins it out. Wallace fighting brave. And oh. it's turned the ball over again. That's a great steal. A great steal there from, from Wallace. Possibly it was Peter O'Hagan. I'm not too sure. Adam McNamee in there making a nuisance of himself. But the ball is cleared. And it's going to be a Norm Mefferty. Yeah. Line out just inside the wall is 22. Disappointing end there to that promising attack there for Mefferty. Mm -hmm. But yet again, the wall's defence on the money. That's their second turnover in these early exchanges. Yep. Eight minutes played here in this Danske Bank semi final. Wallace 3, Mefferty 0. Who will join Armagh in this year's final? So a second Mefferty line out. Going short this time, easily gathered there by Matthew Humphreys. And Wallace, the Wallace pack putting the Methody boys back a bit. Certainly a great start from the Wallace boys, both in attack and in defence. So what will Methody try to do here? Graham, oh and it's spilled, spilled forward there. Well, and a chance here for a counter-attack as Dope picks up. He's got options to his left. Here goes Rankin. Rankin kicks ahead before he's bundled into touch. Harry Wallace chasing that down. But Andrew McMurray brought the ground there in his zone 22. Great, great chase there from this here to the right hand side. The numbers just looks very messy. Mm -hmm. Very scrappy, very messy indeed. 
but yet again the Wallace boys were up very very quickly but on that clearance from Peter O'Hagan just miss kicks it just skews off his right boot and Wallace are going to have a, a line out on the Mefty 22 so it's all Mefty these early exchanges approaching the 10 minute mark it's Wallace 3 Mefty still yet to score and this Wallace their first line out of the day so we'll see what they can conjure up here. Hooker Joel Dundas getting the instructions there from Cameron Duke. Brother of Nathan going to the back tail there of the line out. That's a terrific fetch. And Wallace just looking to, not interested in any rolling balls. Just getting the ball, going forward, going forward, every opportunity. Great line out yep. from Wallace there, well drilled uh, the forwards by uh, Derek Suffern and, and Kyle McCall of course and Zach his brother helping out with the hookers Oof. and Wallace could have been down at right hand side again there but the ball spilled forward by Jack Dillon of course and he's Harry Wallace outside him he went so close in the opening minutes but Methley recover and that's a fine clearance there by Luke Sims but feels the fine touch Dope yet again seems to be central to everything and just his reading of the game he's already saying he just knows where to be oh he's, he's oh. wise beyond his years he really is and gets the commentator's curse there bang on cue holding on the ball when he went into, into contact so one there for the Mephri pack and that will do their confidence no harm at all after what they went through in the opening exchanges there so another chance for Mephri to get back down into the Wallace half So kicking right footed there is Callum Davidson. Good kick. A very, very fine kick indeed. Just shy of the 22. The Methody pack just gathering there just in their own half. They're actually getting a talk from referee Johnny Erskine. Possibly to speed things up a little bit. Probably about some other matters. But now they're in for, into their the pack runs for their talk getting their line out sorted so there's the instructions passed to Harry McCartney that's with a shortened line out going to the middle taken there by Adam McNamee Wallace quick into that and another turnover there from Wallace didn't let them get any go forward there at all from that line out sacked the line out and got the turnover and it's all coming up Wallace so far yeah Mentally, it'd be tough for the Methody boys, you know, being so close uh, to their line, have that turnover early on, and then, and now this, good chance for Walls to exit again. Absolutely. If their work cut out for them to get a few points mm -hmm. on the board, you know. See, it's, it's the mental, mentally draining yeah. aspect of it. Yeah. After owning the ball, and opening 12 and a half minutes. And just having nothing to show for it, but as we as we saw yesterday, the game was played over 70 minutes and not 13. So no need to panic just yet. One score just separating the sides. So here we are. Good solid scrum there from the Walls boys as they look to move it through their back line and sloppy pass there goes to ground, but they did very, very well to recover. They were looking to run that and down the left hand channel here. Lewis Nelms just at the base of that rock taking on the contact so we're just waiting on a box kick here Nelms yet again right footed doesn't get much distance gets plenty of height who's underneath that oh walls have regathered yet and Don't they have numbers here on the right hand side if they move it oh, they come down they come down the left Doak was just looking a wee bit too much there Mefley no problem there so there's Cameron Doak now getting a carry just on the 10 metre line now now it's back there again oh and a Mefley player or number 10 Luke Graham up very very sharp there but a, a lovely dummy there from Nelms but referee seems to be playing knock on there's a, <laughs> there's a lovely kick there from the wall, the wall, the wall hooker. John Dundas 
a delightful kick straight to his right wing there Harry Wallace and the way for the attack continues something Billy Burns would be proud of wouldn't it <laughs> it's the modern I've seen that it's the, the modern game you know all, all players they have, have to have every box tick there from this when it comes to the skill sets so Wallace continuing to have possession here back again with Doak going a bit deeper there number 12 Ben Carson Fernie pushed back moving it through the hands here again Charlie Irvine linking up there with one of his players a lovely kick oh no totally miscued that there Doak easily guarded by Connor Spence what can the Mephley fullback do here he was tackled but he still managed he offloaded the ball and had some great wing trickery there from Callum Doherty Andrew McMurray apologies switched wings Matheny starting to open up a little bit more now he's taking him a little bit to settle and get through the faces but that as we can see there the Wallace defence is up sharp at every opportunity and scrum I think it's that scrum half Lewis Nelms making a, a real nuisance of himself and giving away a penalty I think in situations uh, like that, you know, if Walls just keep their discipline, not give Methody an easy out there because it seemed to be Methody on the back foot, Walls in control. So another fine kick there from Methody's Callum Davidson. And for another line out here down the down the Methody left where all their attacks have seemed to be. The fourth line out in the in the Walls half. Great crowd here today at the Kingspan Stadium. Great atmosphere. It's been singing since way before kickoff when the team's right doing a warm up. Any opportunity to get out of school, school. isn't it? <laughs> Another good method line out there and well gallered by Adam McNamee. It's well defended again by Wallace. Second at. As soon as hit the ground, a great line there from the, the Wallace guys are coming through. Can, can this be the attack? It? Launches their, gets their first score. Captain Adam Reid hopes so. Matthew Humphreys battling through. A try score in their quarter final one. Turned over, over again Sullivan. here. And yet again, another turnover for Wallace and Duke. Is he going to release it? No. He's just looking to. I think it was the right option just to hold himself. on to it yep. there. But Duke is penalised for a second time. As you just mentioned there a minute ago, Craig, the, the penalty count of Wallace can keep the penalties down there. Yeah. They'll be a, a lot firmer control than they actually are. Possibly a, a chance here to go for the posts this time. Yeah, good opportunity, but uh, if I know uh, Nicky Wells, you know, he'll be instructed to go into the corner here and they'll try and uh, maybe get a good line out and maybe maul this over. And that looks like what they're going to do, of course, Nicky Wells. Back in the hot seat there at Methody, along with uh, Stephen Lindsay and Andrew Mills. Bags of, bags of experience there coming from the Methody coaching ticket there. So yet another Methody lineup. Will they try something different here? Maybe a quick ball off the top just to, just to mix things up. It's a shortened line out. Where's it going to go? It's going to go to the back. No, nope, we popped to the front. Matthew Humphreys yet again taking that at the front. Well read by Wallace there. Reid, the captain. Can he lead his team to the a Nor Schools Cup final. Great side step there from the Methody forward. The Wallace defence up very, very sharp yet again. Peter O'Hagan stopped in his tracks there. Methody coming right. Seem to be using Peter O'Hagan a lot, you know, in that crash mm -hmm. ball, that hard line. He runs them well, but I'd like to see uh, the ball go out the back. Mm -hmm. Crawlers there with a Nor carry and a Nor 1 2 for Harry McCartney. Getting closer to the line, but all their players just seem to be the right. You, can, if you can't see it off camera, but number 13, Peter O'Hagan again, but he's too isolated out there in the zone. Could be another steal. Done very well to recycle that. What can look Graham orchestrate down here as they go down the left hand side? Harry McCartney, he's not getting any further. They just can't break that five meter line, Mephody. Really is great defense from Wallace. Discipline in defence. Oh. And there we go again. Another turnover. 
That is tough, that is tough. That's four or five times now, you know, they've got into the 22 of Wallace and they've come away with no points. Absolutely devastating as we hit the 20 minute mark already, this game is just flying by. It's still, it's Wallace 3, Meffery 0, Nathan Dokes early penalty, separating the teams as the medics come on to attend the player. Just to advise as well that we don't, the clock doesn't stop on her clock here. So it might just go over the, the 35 minutes when it does. So I stop there for some water and probably this is a good opportunity for the Mephli guys just to regroup, get in this evening under their coaches there. So yeah, just for maybe freshen the attack up a little bit. Well, that's it, yeah. Try stop, something different. Stop the momentum that's uh, coming mm -hmm. from Wallace, you know. It's, it's been uh, it's been pretty much all uh, Wallace this first 20 minutes. I think Method have showed little glimpses of uh, of attack, but um, like I said earlier, I'd, I'd maybe like to see them use their backs, have some quick backs out there, play the odd ball out the back, and uh, just let them have a go. I think internally the Wallace defense is coming up really strong, and some of their big forwards are getting good shots. So I uh, might need to try and uh, test their edges. So there we go. That's the break over. Can't they say there's no injuries or no early replacements? That's as you were on the team sheet. So Wallace with her own scrum, just deep in their own 22. And no doubt this will be going to Nathan Doak and they'll be cleared. Or they may try and a pick and go. Number eight, Ruben Crawler's the, the Wallace captain. And help build that exit strategy. The scrum so far have been quite good. No messing. Very solid. Straight to Doak. Right footed. So Methody would be pretty relieved of that. It's, they've got a line out again. Yep. Just midway in the 22. You see Play has just been based in that area. That's a one busy touch judge there today. So this is, if we're going to see anything different from Methody, this is where it could possibly be. Always oh, even for Humphreys and McNamee. Maybe something different and we're just looking at the shape of their backs. Their left winger, number 11, Andrew McMurray has come off as far wing. He's standing now between Peter O'Hagan and Callum Doherty. Here comes and out yet again, McNamee gallery and that. And this is such stronger rumble there. Plenty of go forward there from, from the Methody boys, but the Wallace defence eventually stops at their tracks. Methody just keeping tight around the fringes, pop, popping and going. There you go, another short carry. And this is just, at the minute, playing into the Wallace hands. Yeah. Wallace pack and their defence has just been excellent so far. And Wallace just continued to frustrate the Methley boys. Now maybe a chance for the Methley, Methley just to move it out here, the wings. No, coming back in, Peter O'Hagan. Yet again. What can Sims do here? Moves it right, yet again, Adam Reid. Graham tries to go on his own. Maybe a wee pop there to Connor Spence off the shoulder. Could have done the trick. Zach Porter now. He can't get any change out of the Wallace defence. It's Methley looking. Just keeping it around the Frenchers there, the forwards. Jack Watson. And Matthew, Matthew Humphrey says, trying his luck. A few numbers so here. If yep. they ship it, here we go. Yep. Oh, oh, that needs to go. Callum Davison he had, could have had a three on two there if they, if they moved that quicker. passing there from the, the Mephley halfbacks a great line there too it's Peter Hagen again and the ball spills back but it's spilled back on the, the Mephley side Mephley keeping the pressure on so far Wallace are more than equal to anything that the Mephley boys have thrown at them they go again the line speed from the Wallace defence first class so far what can Graham do here moves it, Davidson Connor Spence comes back inside. Great tackle there from the Wallace player. And he's straight back up on his feet. That's Duke in there again. Showing his defensive qualities as well. 
Great effort from Spence there to get the ball Definitely back. Definitely rumbling over. And there's another turnover for Walls. And the Methley boys are just looking around at each other, saying, what can we do? Just can't find a gap there at all. But they did have a chance there, uh, Craig, just to move it there right a few minutes ago. They could have created a three on two. They did, yeah. I think they must have taken them through, you know, certainly double figures of phases there and to, to earn that right to go right, and to go uh, wide, sorry. And uh, I think the, that communication needs to come from the outside as well. He needs to see that, but uh, a little bit of communication can help. Seems to be deja vu here, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> See, just repeating ourselves over and over again. I think it's only 25 minutes. Score nine still. Wallace three. Mefferty nil. And this Danska Bank Facebook live broadcast here on the Ulster Rugby Facebook page. So an hour penalty there from Nathan Doak. So Mefferty, Johnny Erskine having a good chat there with the, the Wallace hooker, Joel Dundas. The five man line out. Looks right to six there. You see the Mephley boy joining in at the back there. So Dundas goes to the back here and a great quick line out there from the Wallace boys. Charlie Irvine doing very well there on the top of that line out. Back now we do moving it right. Oh, just not getting that oh, into well the bread held. basket, but that great handling there. Positives of Jake McKnight. The Wallace fullback coming into the line there. And now it's Wallace's turn to suffer at the breakdown. And that will do the confidence of the Mefley boys no harm at all. Just their second turnover win as opposed to the, the six that Walls have. And so we will see Callum Davison kick down into that corner yet again for the up team time today. So let's see if they can Keep come, up, again. come up with what they could come up with this time. Like as you say, Greg, you got to earn the right to go wide. So, well, we see them go wide now after a few phases, try something different. Yeah, and we, I think uh, Method need to really look after that ball with the breakdown threat that Wallace have. That's you know a handful of times they've turned that ball over in the in the 22. They need a, a big onus on the ball carrier to get that ball back and the support players to, to get over him. So Method yet again go for Matthew Humphreys there at the front of the line out. As Wallace tried to push him ever closer out to that that touch line. But that ball's well protected at the back of that ball. Mefley going ever closer. And that's as close as they've got today. So they're picking and going. It's important now they don't suffer some white line fever. Oh, that, that's getting very, very close. I think that may have been Matthew Humphreys. Right on they the line ever, here. Ever, ever closer as they go again. And the Wallace boys down their knees, but they're up a bit too sharp that time. And we've got a, a penalty for all side coming to Mefferty, but play continues to see penalty what the valves here. Crover's Brock needs short. Needs to go, needs to go. Oh, that's a lovely kick. And Callum Doherty's on He can't get yeah. on Oh, fantastic finish. A terrific cross field kick there from Luke Graham. Straight into the bread basket there of Callum Doherty. And he simply touched it down in the corner. And it's no more than what Mefferty deserved. After 27 and a half minutes of play, they eventually get some reward. Great kick off the cuff. Find his winger on, on, under pressure, you know, with that line speed. And great for uh, Callum uh, Dockery to get under that there and, and dot it down, you know, just uh, hold a bit of nerve. Catch that, dot it down. It's what, your wingers, what you want your wingers to do, score tries. Absolutely, and that's brought the, the crowd to their feet and a Great opening try there from Methody. The Methody crowd were going, to, they were a bit quiet there, weren't they, for <laughs> they a while? Were, they were they quieting down, certainly, after the, the warm-up and Callum Davidson kicks. Will that come in at the last second? Unfortunately, it doesn't. But at least his side are in the lead. Five points to three. Fantastic try there. Well finished by Doherty. So just under a half an hour played. It's Wallace three, Methody five. So how will... Wallace react to that. The line has been breached. So Nathan Doak will, have, will get us restarted. Going to kick right footed. Just on the 22, easily guard there by the Mefty captain, Adam Reid. Oh, and almost a great break here from Matthew yeah. Humphreys. has come through the gate. Caught a few boys by surprise. But eventually just 
caught in the tail of his shirt by the Wallace backs. Methody playing yeah. with a bit more confidence here now with some points on the board. There is a much better spring on their step. A lovely kick there from Luke Sims. Oh, Excellently guard there by Jim McNeat and a well up was a few of the Methody guys on there. A great hit, perfectly timed. But Callum referee, Doherty again, the try scorer. Cut off for that yeah. kick well. But referee Johnny Erston brings us back for a high tackle by the Wallace guys. So we only have a penalty to Methody on their own 10 metre line. So not very much the penalty count is very much against Wallace here. So Davidson right footed. Kicking into the, the East Terrace. Just over, just hitting the half hour mark now. 5-3 Methody lead. And they're certainly taking confidence now from that last. You can just see complete shot and body language here. Yep, and yep. Just from that play there, had exit strategy. And a bit more energy about them, a bit more want to get their hands on the ball and, and have a crack. So Harry McCartney with an hour line out. Ooh, and that just about held on there by Matthew Humphreys. McCartney looking to get a run at the ball, Skies here. To add his list of uh, tries. Tries, yeah. Look, Graham. Oh, great line there from Connor Spence coming up from fullback. But the Wallace defence equal to it yet again. Back to Graham. Callum Davidson. How will these closing exchanges of the, the opening half pan out? It's been very much the, the whole game's been played very much in that area of the park. So try to break. punch a wee hole there, a wee half break there from the Methody scrum half. Luke Sims. Nobody else able to get in there, scrum half. So they try a wee pick and go. Hopefully, Luke Sims get back there. But there's another pick and go. Dan Duggan getting his hands on the ball. Number eight, Mac Michael Crawlers. His turn doesn't get too far. Luke Sims spins it out. What can Graham do this time? No kick. No crossfield kick that this time. No, they opted for uh, yeah. Peter O'Hagan again there on that uh -huh. short line. Watson burrowing his way forward. Zach Porter now. And Adam McNamee getting involved as well. Great pass there from Davidson. Looking to get his. Looking to get. Uh, Andrew McMurray away down the left, but yet again, it's, a, it's basically the story of the half. The Walls defence working tirelessly at the breakdown, but in his defence, I think Andrew McMurray was probably a little bit isolated that time. Yes, yeah, what we were saying earlier about uh, that breakdown threat. You know, they um, they need to get guys, support players with them to, to secure that ball because Walls seem to just be turning it over, turning it over. It all comes down to that communication again. The guys got to be in their. You talk about your pods and various areas of the park. So incidents like that don't happen. But Wall's not out of trouble yet. They're still in their own half, but they do have the line out. To approach the half time break. What we've seen so far from the Wallace line is very quick ball off the top. And there we go, quick ball yet again. And Wallace, they kept a couple of their, their forwards out in the back line. And Neil oh. Matthew Doak just looking to, he came running, he tried to change the point of that attack, but he spilled the ball forward. But well, referee Erskine has seen something else before that. Interesting little play there, mm -hmm. back inside around the ruck. It's a uh, to play teams, a lot of teams would use, you know, at uh, pro level, international level as well, and uh, just trying to catch uh, catch those guys off guard, just ending around the breakdown, right up against it. I did, I saw Nathan come round, and yeah. I wondered where he was going, and then it twigged on. He's he's running that line. I think there was a half gap for him there. If he just hold yeah. on to the ball, bit interesting to see how that play would have unfolded. Of course, Nathan has brought a Cameron, their, their father, Neil, former Ulster head coach. So yeah. I'm sure there's plenty of rugby talk in that household. I'm sure, yeah. I'm sure those <laughs> boys are well drilled. <laughs> so another good solid scrum there from both sides. And a pick up there 
from Ruben Crawlers and Walsh looking to move it through the hands as they threaten them in the opening exchanges they haven't had much of an opportunity since but they're finishing the half quite strong great hands from Wallace down that right hand side just doing the basics well don't move that out deep oh Jack Dillon just taking his hands off the ball there for a second he managed to regroup and he's got to find a wee bit of space oh. and a nifty siphon he's oh in. and he's he's going to crash all these to the post oh what a fabulous individual score there by Jack Dillon even a time he spills the ball regower and just skip his way past the the Mephody backs and the forwards to race clear in underneath the posts and it sort of reminds me of a, a certain try in Thoman Park one Easter Sunday Mr Gilroy which one was that now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was certainly a, a bit of a swing there wasn't it from when he dropped the ball and uh, you would have thought you know, did that go forward or the scrum of the Mephody and he picks it up and you know he ends up under the under the posts uh, great individual try and uh, to get um, to get Wallace ahead no doubt Nathan will uh, convert this. And uh, Wallace back on the front foot. Unfortunate positioning for, for Nicky Wells there, right, uh, right where he scored the try. <laughs> Chance for him to, to give a few words of wisdom to the, to the boys under the post. Absolutely. And just minutes before the half-time break, and Methody, despite all that they've only had one score return, they'd have been quite happy going on at half-time, two, two points two points ahead and yeah. considering they just bossed the game but Wallace just sh showing them give them half an opportunity to move the ball through the hands and they'll they'll finish it that was a a fantastic try so the restart there from Davidson going very very deep Doug Gallers that clears it right footed bring it up to halfway and they touch but the line out take them very very quickly as Mephody try to respond in the with little time we have left here in the first half we are in time added on so it's at referee Johnny Erskine's discretion is there time here for another Mephody try oh so, bit of a poor pass here and poor communication there between the, the Mephody guys there up front referee Erskine has a look at the the watch just after signaling the scrum for the, the knock ball Possibly the last play with two yep. short stoppages, so possibly the last play of the of the opening half. So Greg, your opinions there in the first half here. Basically Method have owned the ball, but they just can't turn that possession and territory into scores. Yeah, we've uh, seen Methody probably dominate the, the territory and then possession down in uh, Walsh's half, but uh, as we, could, as we saw, it's all it took. Uh, a few short passes of play to get inside there again. Here we go again. Ruben Crawlers yet again. A storming pick up from the, the back of that scrum. Harry Wallace coming in off the wing. A great, oh, a great line there from Scott Wilson. It's Wallace here looking to finish high. And there's another gap here. Oh, the, here we go. The big man's through yet again. In. Be very hard to tackle. Ben Carson, he's nobody's going to stop him from there. And that's just another fabulous individual score from the Wallace guys. Jack Dillon, a centre partner, scored a great try just minutes ago. And Ben Carson says, anything you can do, I can do just as better. <laughs> this game just turned on its yeah. head in the space of a few minutes. And Wallace are in danger, just racing clear of Mephody here. It's funny we were saying we would, we would take that 5-3 going into the half and all of a sudden it turned to the... The, what was it, 10-5, now you know, we're potentially 17-5 uh, going in uh, going in a half time unbelievable individual score and Walsh are just, they're converting so much territory into points, you know, that's that's uh, so many times now they've, they've come into this half and they've come away with points in comparison to Methody who are working hard and they're playing some good rugby but they're just they're just not converting yeah, their, their, their accuracy in the final third has just been superb and they just seem to find these holes and these gaps in the and the Mephley defence. So Nathan Doak with his third kick of the day. And it's three from three, two conversions, one penalty. And there we go, that seems to be the half time whistle has gone. And all of a sudden, it's Wallace 10, Mephody 5. And Mephody to face a, an uphill battle in the, in the second half, Greg, back yep. into this game. But as we've seen yesterday, it can be done. Can be done, yep. Yeah, huge, uh, huge comeback from Armada win. 
You know, uh, it, was great. it was great to see uh, knowing Willie Falloon well and what he's done for our miles. It was fantastic to see them get through to the to the final and uh, should be a great one, uh, depending on who they play here today. That's great. So, at the minute, it's Wallace here certainly in control. So, we're going to take a wee break here for half time and we'll be back in a few minutes to bring you live coverage of the second half of this Danske Bank Ulster Rugby Schools semi final. Well, we're back here now at the Kingspan Stadium for the second half of the second Danske Bank Ulster Rugby Schools Cup semi-finals. There's been two changes on the Methody team. Finn McAdam comes in to the front row for Dan Duggan and Lewis Montgomery coming in at the back row for Zach Porter. So two changes on the Methody team. Can they do the trick? Can they bring them back into contention for this game for a place in the final? Of course, they're 12 points in arrears. 
So we're back here at the King Span Stadium. Myself, Paul McIntyre, I'm joined here by Craig Gilroy, and there's a well taken high ball there from Jimmy McKnight. So let's see if these two changes in the, in the Murphy team can freshen things up up front. A change in the front row and a change in the back row. Wall certainly in command and they're getting plenty of possession in the opening the exchanges here of the second half. Going to, there's Doak again, just last second, just turning the point of the attack, but that's not his best kick. Easily gathered by Mefty 11, Andrew McMurray. Yep, bringing, well Connor, bringing Connor Spence into the, into the game there. Coming up from fullback. Luke Sims kicking high. A boss kick there. Doak underneath that. Gallers it. Right foot. Or returning kick just goes straight up in the air. Oh, he lets the Mephody second row. Matthew Humphreys gather that. And then tries to get him on the touch. Did well to stay in. Ma Michael Crawler's doing very, very well to stay in there. Under severe pressure from Harry McMeekin. So Mephody with it all to do. But they find the, the Wallace backs and their defence very, very tough not to crack. So Mephody just moving, it, moving the ball there yet again. Bringing Peter O'Hagan into and the action. Trying to conjure up something. But as we keep saying, it's still a long way to go until the 70 minute mark. Picking and going, picking and going. Up front. Again, Matthew Humphreys seen plenty of the ball today. Sims to Graham. Terrific from there from Doug. Up like a flash. And the ball's been spilled. And one of the, the Mephody replacements, Finn McAdam. Getting some early chicken there from some of his opposite numbers in the, in the Wallace front row. Adam Reid yet again trying to inspire his team here in this second half. A wee bit of a show and go there from Reid yet again. Mephody trying to get something down this blind side there, but that ball spilled there by Matthew Humphreys. And the pressure, the, the pressure game there from Wallace is just showing no signs of slowing up, Greg. Yeah, it seemed to all start there with uh, Nathan Doak making that read, going uh, going after the Methody boy and, and uh, making that tackle, putting them on the back foot and just forcing forcing errors, forcing mistakes really. And now they've got to put in. And Cameron Doak, the the Wallace Lucy, just getting some treatment there. So you've been in the change rooms there with uh, Nicky Wells and that in the Methody. In your Methody days, um, so what do you think you have said that to the guys at half time? You know, they try and lift the heads after that last five minutes where it all went a bit wrong for them. Yeah, it's 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 tough really to talk about those those individual scores. Mm. You know, there's not much um, they really could have done there. I think uh, I think Methody can up it a wee bit. I was just saying about that that front door option that they, they keep using. I mean, they're running it well, but I think I think they. Because they've done so much in the first half, they need to now maybe change it up and try try going out the back, try and stretch them a bit. Because uh, they need to get points on the board. Points on the board, exactly what they need. But they have a lot to do yet. This has got a wall of scrum here. Lewis Nell just waiting for the, the guys to crouch down and engage in the front row. A bit of an early. Early approach there from the Mephley boys. So referee Erskine just having a word. Is the, is the sun has stayed out for us all day, which is great. <laughs> great to see we haven't saw too much of it recently. Make conditions great for some running rugby. The scrum so far today being first class. Very solid and there's another one. Core's doing well at the at the base of that scrum. The ball finds its way to Ben Carson. Try score. That's a lovely offload there from Charlie Irvine to his second row partner Thomas Brawley. As Wallace they would look to no doubt put this game to bed as early as they possibly can. Possibly if they get the next score, you might see. Will the Mephley heads drop? Wallace just kicking and going and they're going in their twos, going in their pods. Playing the back in the centre field again. Doak 
goes a bit deeper this time. Ben Carson. But well done the method of defence, and that will do their confidence no harm at all. Great tackle by Luke Graham there, getting out of the line, making that tackle. Allowing opportunity for his uh, forwards to get on that. So the first turnover to this, the second half there to go on Mephody's way. And that penalty kick from Davidson just, just finds its way into the, into the Wallace half. For another line out. So Wallace, cert or, sorry, Mephody, they're, they're certainly taking their time over this. He's come walking up now to the mark. So Harry McCartney going to the front of this five-man line out. Yeah. Oh, and almost a steal. But eventually does come back on the wall side. Oh, needs to go. Yeah. Simple hands here. Simple Give hands. it. And he could be in here for it. That's a terrific burst of pace there from Jimmy McKnight, the fullback. All coming from that steal at the line out, and the ball quickly found its way on the on the left hand side. And all of a sudden, oh, Wallace are back, but. Handling error from Scott Wilson. Gives possession back to the Methody boys. I think Methody have got out of jail there a bit. Sims with the box kick. Very inside. Need a yep. And Doak returns. It's kick in favour. Quite a pass there from, from Luke Sims. And this time the penalty is again another high tackle. That's it's the third time a Walls player has been penalised for a high tackle. Surprise referee Earth hasn't had a, a wee chat with the, the Walls captain Ruben Crawlers about that. It's a bit scrappy this last mm. couple of minutes. I don't know if the, the nerves have come into it again. A few knock-ons, a few spills at the line out. And Davidson's penalty just about finds touch. Just about inside the walls half. That's the one we can see there from the touch judge's flag. It's one that's starting to pick up. And it's very much in favour of walls in this half. The temperature has dropped a little. But it is almost half past three on a, a March afternoon in Belfast. So you wouldn't expect <laughs> to be anything else. That's a good rumble there from the Methody guys. A good pick up from the half time replacement, Lewis Montgomery. It's been reefed. Oh, that spill that was a knock forward has come on the wall side anyway. Here we go again. Oh, great show. Great wee turn there from Harry McMeekin. What can Wallace get from here? There's a knock on there from a Wallace player, but we'll go back to the original knock on from the, from the Methody player. As this game just finds it's find it difficult just to. Get a fluid play going this half. Seven and a half minutes into the second half. It's still Walls High School of Lisbon, 17 Methodist College, Belfast. Five. I must say, Walls have been very impressive in that mm -hmm. contact area. Getting off the line, been very physical in their tackles, dominating the collision. We saw a reef there to cause that knock on, and it's been very impressive around that area. That's, we've got a Walls player down with Cramp. A few boys try to get on the pitch here with some water. They were quickly told to leave. <laughs> so here we go with another scrum coming. Nobody's really dominated the scrums as such today. It's been quite a closely fought battle up front at the set piece. Mephody trying their best to get a shove on there. Getting, getting a slightest Methody shove there. Here. First time today we've seen a bit of pressure from one of the teams. Duke kicking that ball right footed. Opted for the easily, spiral. <laughs> easily garled there by Connor Spence. And Spence breaking out through a few tackles before being brought to ground. Just short of halfway. Walls just spreading their, their guys right across halfway, keeping two, two players back. The halfbacks. The Elms down here on the right. And Doak out in the far left. And there goes Adam Reed today. He's been a terrific captain for the Methody boys today. Trying at every opportunity to lift his team. Another carry. And 
there's another spilled ball there in contact from, another from the Methley boys. Wilson doing very, very well to pick that ball up. And let's see what Wallace can do here with it. Trying to oh, a lovely kick over the top there from Doak. Can it be Gellert? Oh, oh and try score. Carson just can't get his hands on it. I thought he and could have maybe caught that oh, on the full. I feel I caught that. He had options left and right. And that could have been good night, Methley. But not. Lovely not little kick from Nathan Doak there. He's such a, mm -hmm. an arsenal of attacking plays, whether it's uh, through the hands, his accuracy of his pass, or whether he puts that ball on the toe. So it was an early, earlier spiral there as well. You don't see that much in the, in the pro <laughs> game, let alone uh, schoolboy rugby. Screeching of an out half the guy just plays as it is in front of him, plays off the cuff. Not, you don't know what to expect. I expect nothing less nice. from Neil Doak's son. <laughs> 46 minutes played here at the Kingspan Stadium. Today's Danske Bank live Facebook broadcast on the Ulster Rugby Facebook page. Wallace 17, Methley 5. So that scrum just wheeling around a bit there, but we're going to go again. Another chance for Methley to get out of their half and something which they haven't really done this half is play the ball play in the Wallace half which they did too often in the first half. Unfortunately we fight with little reward. Yeah. So here we go again. Mephany maybe take a bit of confidence from that last scrum and they got a bit better go forward and put the, the Wallace guys on. A little bit of pressure. But that's a pick and go from number eight Michael Crawlers. Doesn't get too far before he's brought the touch, brought the, brought the ground, sorry. Ooh, and he's stay in. Going to go out in the oh, oh, that's an inch perfect kick. Absolutely stunning kick there from, from Luke Sims. It's a great kick. Judge, well, judge to perfection. Yeah. Maybe a little little bit of luck uh, helped out there. Something that uh, I think Matthew needed at this point in time. Luck has, Lady Luck has certainly deserted the, the boys from the Malone Road today. So we've got a... A Wallace line out. Joel Dundas taking, throwing the darts today for the Wallace guys. Looking for a, a tighter mark, a tighter gap, sorry, between the two lines, but match officials say play on. Another excellent line out, and yet again, quickly, quickly away from the line out and moving the ball out to the back line. Wallace just Picking and going, picking and going. They've got a penalty advantage too, but still they pick and go, pick and go. Ball's not coming back, so referee Erskine not happy there. And it's going to be a penalty for from Effie and a and a word in the ear of Matthew Humphreys. So just nothing just seems to be going right for for the Effie boys today. So Duke will be kicking us right footed. Yeah, finds his touch. And that breeze that we had a short time ago has died down a little. So Wallace are just happy to dictate the play now, dictate the pace of the game. They're 12 points up, so they have every right to. They're in, in no rush for these set, take these set pieces. Another shortened line out for the Lisbon skill. Ah, they've lost that. What's the first one they've lost today? Yep. And well done, Adam Reid. Quick to, quick to that, maybe. That could be the, the signal that just reignites the fire in the, in the bellies of these Methody guys. Committing a lot of guys to the breakdown there. Just a bit of an overthrow in that line mm -hmm. out, as you said. It's the first time we've seen that. Davidson trying to get away through, trying to pick a pass. He eventually does one. And oh, here we go. Matthew, big Corollers picks that ball up in the right place at the right time. A, a great storm and run from the powerful back row. Just need a bit of composure yeah. here now. Bit of a fortuitous yeah. offload that, that found him. <laughs> what will Graham do here? The thought he was going to move it left, decides to cut back inside and go himself. Peter O'Hagan. Lots of cars today, just unable just to get that breakthrough, to get that gap. Method, you just need to find a bit of shape here. Mm -hmm. Great powerful surge here from the replacement, Lewis Montgomery. And a penalty for Methody, so 
No doubt they'll kick yeah. to the corner here. Definitely, I think they'll definitely kick to the corner this time. Yeah, it wasn't even up for consideration. Davidson couldn't get his hands on the ball quick enough. And no, no issues there finding his touch. So five meters from the from the Wallace line. A great opportunity now for Meffrey to get back into this game with just over 20 minutes of play left here today. Here's Kyle McCall marching on here behind the post. Barking instructions. Yeah, you just see him here in the black top on the terrace here at the Abbey Insurance family stand. A well guard line out there from, from Meffrey. Can they get a rumble going? It's going forward very much. It's going to the Going sideways, but they get a wee bit forward there. Great defence from Wallace so far. Yeah, Wallace slightly going, going here, Methody. We're going now, can we? There's Doak the prop get, making a nuisance. There's there. certainly a chance here. Just, just short. Oh, just shy of the line there. Just down a wee bit early. Number number 20 there for Methody. Montgomery trying his luck. There goes Adam McNamee. Still finding no change in this Wallace defence. The Methody right wing and acres of space on the right hand side. A few passes to the right. And, we, but, and you can see Connor Spence is a great position there. Wallace agent er, or Methody agent ever, ever closer to that Wallace thing. And there's hands up in the air, but from the Wallace guys, they think they maybe turned it over. Ooh, it's a penalty. A penalty just right on the line there. For Methody. Just feel like they're not getting much change out of this Walsh forward pack. They're they're doing so well to min, min, contain them, to just to stop those pick and goes and dominate the collisions. Still think there's opportunities out wide. Maybe that's the winger in me talking. <laughs> so, referee Erskine having a good chat there with a few of the Walsh players, including their captain, Ruben Crowers. But I noticed the right wing. It's at Harry Walls. Come on, they try to get the referee's attention to the touch judge. Obviously, he's seen something, but he's just trying to sway the match officials. But a great opportunity, nonetheless, for Mephody. Big scrum. It seems like they can go forward. They can boss this Walls pack in the scrum. They haven't had much joy elsewhere. So let's see if they can see something, something new in the armory of the. Methody attack. So here we go, the team's packed down. Look, Sims. And there goes Michael Crawlers, and he's quickly brought the ground. Still a few yards yet short underneath the post, and if they move this quick through the hands, they may be in. Here we go. Oh, Davidson just cutting back inside there. Oh, was that a high tackle or just a good rip? Attempted rip there from the, from the, the Wallace guys. Play continues. No penalty advantage yet. And Mephody just keeping this ball, keeping it tight, keeping it in the forwards. Just going round the sides, picking and going. Walls not committing too many guys to the breakdown here. Fantastic tackle there by Scott Wilson. Here comes Reid. Still, still can't find that gap. Mephody need to be careful here, isolated runners. Oh, that and might have been high. Graham did very, very well. The Walls backs were up very, very sharp. Yep. Peter O'Hagan. Not for the first time today. We've seen how dangerous they can be as well over that ball. Method do not want to get turned over here. They are they do seem to be being pushed back a bit. Oh great counter ruck in there from the from the Wallace guys. Harry McCartney. Sims bring it right again. Wallace do have the numbers out wide. If they can move it. If they move it right. But they're just going around the fringes. Great Wallace defence yet again. And it, here they go, they move it now. Davison on oh, the Wallace defence is up, up so sharp, and that's a ferocious tackle there from Jimmy McKnight. And a terrific tackle. Forces the Methody, Methody guys to knock it on. And then actually won a penalty which Duke takes very very quickly and all of a sudden we're back up into halfway and that's just been the story of the game the game Greg it has yeah a 
Another uh, unfortunate turnover for, for Methody there, taking them through phases. In fairness, you know, they tried to put it through the hands wide and Jim McKnight's just come up and uh, put, a, put a thump and tackle. The line speed of this uh, Wallace defence, their back line there, is, it's first class, you know, something like maybe a, a junior club would maybe be proud of and you're seeing it here at the schools level. It's yep. a testament to the work of the coaches. Absolutely. Derek Suffern yeah, and, the, and the McCall brothers as well. The, I mean, the Swall side's very well drilled, uh, particularly, as you say, defensively. Just just no entry, really, mm -hmm. for Methody. They've tried so much today, Methody, but unable to easily squeeze past that Wallace defensive. Wallace, of course, they've actually never won the, the Skills Cup. They've came close on a number of occasions. 2015, they were last in the final losing to Belfast since 14-10. They also lost to Belfast since in 07 and 03. Belfast since crashed out yesterday, so they'll not have to cross that mental bridge if they hold on to this lead today. Just over 56 minutes played here at the Kingspan Stadium in this Danske Bank Ulster Schools Cup semi-final. Wall 17, Mephody 5. Good line out there from the Walls guys. Keeping it in the forwards. So they get, get a bit of go forward here and go forward they do. Eventually it's cr brought crashing down. And that's some great play there from the Mephody second row. Matthew Humphreys put, a, put in a great shift today. Going right and there's the, the red scrum cap of Scott Wilson. Just see the difference here, Walls. Just making yards and every time they move the walls, a lovely floated pass there from Doak. What can they what can they conjure up here? Finn Rankin. Ulster skills player. Didn't get much joy down the left, but they, they but they go again. The ball's back in the hands of the forwards. Peter Helsey looking for a looking for a gap in the Methley back line. And they go again. Some great carries here mm -hmm. from the walls forwards. Doak looking up with his brother there. Prop the out half and the, hands, the handling skills are just as good up front as they are out in the back line. Oh, Wallace aging ever closer, making yards. Always getting over the gain line there. And some oh, lovely offload there. Great hands. And Keeping the ball alive and Doak. And if the Walls boys can move this, they're certainly in again for try number oh, three. Fantastic. Jamie McKnight is there to finish off a fabulous team move. To give him a. To open up a 22 5 lead. Beautiful try. We talked about the tries in the first half being individual tries. This one was certainly about the team. Super try there. Great composure to, to get the ball through the hands there. Some. Uh, some of those passes under a lot of pressure. And then once they did the hard work, it was just a matter of uh, shipping it on there and great finish in the corner. Absolutely. And it wasn't even just the backs are giving off the lovely hands and lovely passing there. It's up front as well. Absolutely. And uh, we had seen some great uh, carries from the forwards there, but uh, when the opportunity presented itself mm -hmm. to put it through the hands, they, they showed they could do that too. So we're in the 59th minute now, it's 22-5. It's not looking good now for Methody. It's a long way back yeah. for Methody, but... It was 22-5 yesterday, so never say never. The Methody Maybe flame still burns, the method burns me. brightly in <laughs> Craig Gilroy. <laughs> so Doki's had a 100% Success rate from the boot today. And that one just goes across the front of goal. And wide to the left, so the score line remains 22 5 in favour of Wallace. As a Wallace player gets back to his feet rather gingerly there. I think that's Jack Dillon. I just see him coming across the halfway line now. These red numbers in the back of those shirts, Greg, are just a nightmare. <laughs> so, 
Play resumes. Oh, terrific tick by Ruben Crawlers. He wanted that ball and nobody was going to stop him from getting that. He's pretty much done that all game, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, terrific shift there from the, <coughs> the Wallace captain. Peach of a kick there from, from Nelson. Just knocked on by Wallace. Knocked on a great contest too. Between Doak and his, uh, one of the, the Methody backs there. Referee Yorsk on there, just playing there. Ten advantage there for the knock on. Crawlers on there with a big hit. He has been very impressive, Ruben Crothers. Mm -hmm. And his high ball and his uh, receipt off the restarts and, and, and his tackles and then around that breakdown. <laughs> great, great burst there from Peter O'Hagan. Well, there's a penalty infringement by Walls. Remember the Skulls Cup rugby is 70 minutes, the game lasts. So just and taking into consideration the couple of stops that we've had with just, just over 10 minutes left of play. Me and Methley doing what they need to do now. Get the ball into the into the Wallace half and hopefully get a score, but they found it very, very difficult to come by today. So we've got another stop for Harry McMeekin, the Wallace open side right on halfway. Wallace haven't made any replacements yet. And there's a, a replacement at scrum half for Methody. Alex Armstrong replacing Luke Sims. It's the third Methody replacement today. So what can, what can Sims conjure up in the closing stages of this Danske Bank? Skills Cup semi-final. What can he do to bring his team back into, into contention? Great storm and run again there from Peter O'Hagan. He's tried, he's tried today. A lovely offload there from Adam McNamee. Definitely certainly not giving up without a fight. A bit more life on this Methody yeah. side now. Is it just a little too late though? Oh uh, and Wallace 14, Harry Wallace just getting his hand to the ball there, knocking it out of Andrew McMurray's hands. But it's going to come back for a, it's actually a knock on. Or is it? Oh, the referee and touch judge having a good discussion on on Methody of Methody have won this uh, line out. In fact, that came off the Methody hand. That's <laughs> Greg. Yeah, Change of heart from the touchy oh. there. <laughs> so here we go. It's a shortened Methody line out. Must be an ex Methody boy. <laughs> One to review there, but the play continues nonetheless. Methody's trying to will this rolling ball around as he try to get, get the lays going, get a bit of go forward, and they're getting a bit of go forward here. Alex Armstrong controlling that at the base of that mall. Calling the shots, telling him to keep it in hand, keep him going. Now he gets the ball. Graham Ridge, who's he find? Connor Spence storming up from Lovely fullback. Man. Made a few yards, some great defence there. Yet again, Crawler's in there. For the walls, guys. Whose defence today has just been superb. A, and a penalty for Methody. I think Crawler's just in the the fringes there was it and it's one of the second rows is going to get a talking to here Charlie Irvine an Ireland under 18 player and he gets a yellow card which effectively Craig could be his game over at this late stage so it'll be interesting yep. to see how the Methley use their advantage here also you go for the scrum being a man being losing a big powerful second row to get which you go for the scrum yeah, take the scrum, um, have another crack. I mean, they need to come up with something uh, pretty quick. Not long now. Less than 10 minutes. Who knows what the injury time we'll have. So they need to get uh, some points on the board. Sharpish. As all that's going on, Wallace are preparing to bring in their first replacement. There's a bit of a conversation going on down in front of the Abbey Insurance family stand where we've got a Methody a Methody scrum and looks like we're going to 
let play continue before any more replacements come onto the park. Bethany have stacked all their backs. Yeah. Everybody's just gone, right? You just not quite see it just yet on your on your screens at home. Michael Crothers as well. Mm -hmm. They've opted for their yeah, so eight out in the back line as well. So it's seven uncontested. That's to be a contested scrum in the second route of us, but here the quick ball moving it through the backs. <coughs> Davidson and O'Hagan linking up again. And that's for the first time that they've got a bit of a rumble going on now, the Mephody guys. And Wallace just can't afford to concede another penalty. They've already got a warn there from a yellow with another player just gone to the seven and Irvine. So they don't want to concede another penalty so close to the line if the if the danger have been a may have been awarded a penalty try. Alex Reid trying his best yet again. But the Wallace defence standing firm. And if they can move this, they can maybe get themselves on here. But Andrew McMurray, can he wriggle his way in? Yes, he can. Off the corner Spence and corner Spence gets over the line. It's plenty of fight left yet. Is this this game's just just not over yet? Maybe Greg. 22 points to 10 conversion to come. As much as it would be nice, it's just mm -hmm. maybe a little too late, you know. A terrific offload there on the ground there from from Andrew McBurry. Connor Spence up from fullback. Gets his hands on the ball, touches down and immediately Callum Davidson lining up the conversion. I want to take this quick. Six minutes, I think referee Erskine signaled there to the Wallace guys. But they need this conversion to go over. Has oh, it got the legs? Oh, oh, it's just short. It was a great effort. A great effort. So it's now 22 points to 10. Just under six minutes left here at the Kingspan Stadium. And Spence, uh, sorry, Andrew McMurray seems to have taken a knock there for his troubles. Setting that try up. He's, he's replaced. Just can't see the number of the, the player coming on to take his place. But here we go. Duke gets play underway. Well gallered there by Peter O'Hagan. Oh, it's a powerful run there. And it takes a lot to put some of these Walls guys on the on their backside there. And he done powerfully well there. Reed yet again hasn't stopped running all day. Armstrong. Crawlers. We have to just move them through the backs here. Coming back in. Yes, that looked like another high tackle there from yeah. the prop. Duke. The play continues. Oh, so he finds a gap. But a terrific oh, break there from the scrum half. Oh, and he dro <laughs> dropped the shoulder left. He came almost on stepped right. himself there, didn't he? <laughs> Unfortunately, his foot and lost him there. Electric little break from him. Oh, it's probably the first break any of the Methody backs have made today. But they still have possession, and there's another penalty coming. Whoa, it's a funky pass there. Yet again, picked up by Spence. We well, offload there off that to, the, line. to the replacement, Ethan Bryce, who's just come on there for Andrew McMurray. He did very well to stay in there. Doing very well to recycle him. And doing very well there is Lewis Montgomery. Uh, oh, it's just a little long. It's a kick on it, just on the ball, wins that race there. It's Mephody players seem to pull up. So a few minutes left to play, we have making around at least three minutes. So Greg, just add your thoughts here maybe on a, the player of the match? Player of the match, I think, um, well I think Nathan Doak's been instrumental at out half there, uh, demonstrating such such maturity, uh, controlling the game so well. I thought he's been fantastic. Uh, Jamie McKnight as well, some great finishes. Um, but my player of the match would go to uh, big number eight uh, for Wallace Ruben Crothers. Yeah, the big number eight. He's led from front, led from led by example that you'd expect your captain to do. Fast experience here, Ulster under 19 and, and Ireland under 18 cap. As Cameron Dokes replaced in the Wallace front row. 
coming straight into the action is Robbie Davis and he's straight into, into this line out which Wallace are defending in their own 22 they have to go to the back this time and that's a terrific rumble they've got going there plenty of go forward straight off as soon as the, the guy goes brought back the ground they're getting closer and closer surely we're not going to see a normal crazy comeback like yesterday's at this late stage the clock has gone set but there's still a few minutes left to play yet and there's a deliberate pull down there. Is there grounds for a penalty try, Greg? I'm not sure. <laughs> You're asking the wrong That's guy. <laughs> <laughs> so close to that line. So close to the line there. As Methody came so close to getting their third try of the afternoon. Do we have any indication the injury time or how long we have left? I know the clock says yeah, 70 there. 70 will at the conversion. There were six minutes left, so I would make it possibly maybe one, maybe two minutes left. So what are Methley doing this? How do they line up this time? Ethan Bryce, who's just recently come on, he's staying on the left wing. Number eight, Michael Crawlers is taking up position right behind the out half, Luke Graham. And no doubt there'll be another quick ball coming from this scrum. Maybe see another carry here from Michael Crawlers. Ball from Armstrong. Ball finds its way to Calm Davidson. Effie's boys are sprinting to the to their right hand side in front really, of the west stand. Really disrupting that breakdown. Balls have done it all game. Seriously impressive there. Just doing enough to slow play down, get their defence organised. Mefty decide to come left, and there's a man that deserves a score today for Mefty. It's their captain, Adam Reid. Mefley getting ever closer, ever closer to that line. And they're certainly not going down without a fight. They're, they're claiming the try, and referee Erskine agrees with them. But is there enough time? They're not too sure. At the, and McCartney, the hooker, the top try scorer. I've just seen the referee shake his head. Uh, so I think this might be it after the conversion, unfortunately for Methody. But as you would expect, Methody and all their cup pedigree not lying down, not giving up the fight until the very, very last. They just found Wallace a tough nut to crack today. As Callum Davison lines up this conversion attempt. Over between between the sticks it goes. Five point gap, but there's no more time as Greg says there, that's it. The the Methody guys crushed to their knees. Absolutely gutted. But for the Wallace players and supporters mass jubilation they'll be back here on the 17th of march to take on royal school armagh in the 2020 danske bank schools cup final they put up a terrific display right from the start a one built on their defensive display methody as you would expect threw everything at it but just came up short on the day wallace deserving winners greg Thought they were uh, fantastic throughout. Just from the get-go, they really mm. were in control, weren't they? And very well drilled side. And you know, it pains me to say it, being a Methody <laughs> boy, but I thought they were deserving uh, winners today. Deserving winners, and they'll return here, as I said, to the Kingspan Stadium on St Patrick's Day, a 3 p.m. kickoff. They'll take on the boys from the County Armagh. So, before we go, just. Big thanks to Craig Gilroy for coming along, joining us for Thank today's you. broadcast. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And maybe something Tommy Bowen, the boys can do it. Sure, why not? Absolutely. <laughs> easy, isn't it? It's easy. <laughs> <laughs> and just before we go, uh, Friday night coming, it's the Senior Cup final. Also be a live broadcast on Facebook. So it'll be kick off there at 7.45, 7.30, just been informed. So maybe join in for that. And over the weekend, sure, with the Ireland game being called off, you could do a lot worse than look back on this year's two semi-finals, particularly yesterday's <laughs> tri-fest and big late comeback on the Ulster Rugby's uh, YouTube page. So for me, Paul McIntyre and Craig Gilroy, thank you very much for tuning in, and we'll see you all again. Cheers.